Here's the other great thing about today and what we're doing. Uh, Monaco Blue was, was uh, gracious enough to let me film today. So if anybody doesn't want to be on film, here's your time to run. <laughs> and, uh, and I'll blur you out as you go. Um, but for YouTube, so if you guys want to look back on this class, you can uh, as well. Creating loyalty. People are not loyal unless they have a reason to be. Does everybody agree with that? Yes. Right. So how do we get people in our salon to be loyal to our salon? That's a big challenge in the industry. And I think that the problem with this industry right now is that we are so old school right now that we are, we are messing everything up, right? Everything is going with the times. Starbucks now, you don't even have to wait anymore, right? Everybody use the app? Nobody? Does <laughs> that not happen here? Pretty sure that was nationwide. If I want Starbucks right now, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow your mind. You didn't even need to come for anything else. <laughs> At Starbucks now, they have, they have an app, an application for the internet uh, <laughs> device. <laughs> and you can, you can literally go on the app, put in the drink that you want, pick the store that you want to pick it up at, and when you get there, it's ready for you, right? So, so no one's in line today. There is like three Starbucks around here. No one has to wait in line. Just order it on your phone, and you'll save a lot of time. The world is all about time, right? The guest that we hate the most is the one that calls that day and they want in, but I'm telling you guys right now, those are the people, that's how it's going to be now. It's not going to get better. It's going to get worse. The only way it's going to get better is if we focus on rebooking them before they leave. Otherwise, people want in that instant because they're used to it. I ordered clothes for this event uh, Tuesday. And I was so pissed when they didn't get there. <laughs> they didn't arrive the day before I left to come here. They didn't come. And I was so angry because I'm so used to ordering things and them coming within a day or two uh, from when I order them. Right? People in our businesses are going to do the same thing. They're, they want in. I don't know if you guys have seen, there's apps that are launching. Uh, there's an app called Mainstream that's out now. And that app is an on-demand beauty service. So any of you in here could sign up for that app and then go live and it's Uber for hairdressers. So now somebody could just summon you and you go to their house and do their hair. Whether that's cool or not, I don't know who's on board with that, but that's... <laughs> But that's the reality. I mean, I would never do it because I, I value my time. I can't drive my car going everywhere, but some stylist that's not busy might want to do something like that. And that client that called in that couldn't get in with you because you're so busy, they are going to do something like that. The loyalty is not going to be there. So how do we create loyalty in the salon? Buy 10 haircuts, get one free is not okay anymore, right? It doesn't do anything to grow our business. So any of you guys, I'm not saying anything. If you guys do a punch card system or something like that now, or you found the app online and you launched it with your business, the reason that this does not work for your business is because it doesn't help grow your clients. It doesn't help your frequency of visit, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. It just says buy 10 haircuts whenever you want to, and I'll give you a free one someday in life, right? So this could really take them four years. So they're not growing your business this way, and you're giving them something for free, which doesn't really work out. Coupons in the paper, obviously, I think we're, we're good. I could probably delete that one, right? <laughs> I don't even know where the paper is anymore, but I, I'm pretty sure I can remove that from this presentation. Thirsty Thursday, two for Tuesday promotions. Now here's the thing. For those last minute people now, um, I believe that you can, you gotta stop posting on Facebook, hey, I'm free right now, come on in. But I believe that there is a way that we could do this. If you have the people that call in last minute, you put them on a list. And when, that, when, that, when you want to run a promotion or you want to do something creative, then shoot something to those people that are on that list. Collect the data of last minute people. You know who they are, right? They already are always last minute people. So we can capitalize on them. We have to categorize our, our customers, right? So I have my customers that rebook all the time. But then what am I doing for the people that don't? And that, besides getting upset with them, right? Now it's time to, just because we're upset about it, now we can fix it, come up with a last minute people list and start pumping this stuff. Maybe email them, text them, do something to show them that you have something quick and uh, ready for them. 
This is our loyalty program. Um, I'm really good friends with Millennium Software uh, that's here, which is kind of cool. Um, I use Millennium Software in my salon business. How many people do not use software? Thank you for, not, for being honest. Thank you. And that's, a, that's, a good, that's good to see because a lot of times people aren't using software yet. Um, I like Millennium Software. This is a loyalty program that they have built into their system. So I give 500 points for booking a future appointment with your customer. So it's $5. 100 points is $1. It's $5. Earn 1,000 points for referring a friend. Now, I'll give $10 if you refer your friend to my salon business. Why would I give $10 every time? Does that seem like a lot of money? Because if I were to go put an ad in the paper, it would cost me $1,000, and I would maybe get three people from that ad. Probably not even three people anymore. One and a half, probably. Um, so 1,000 points, I'll give you $10 for referring a friend. If they refer 100 friends, we're good to go. They're, they're making bank and getting their hair done for free, and I've got a ton of their friends coming into my business. 200 points for trying a new service. We have to get people trying something new in our salon. If you don't have time for it, recommend it next time. That's where we fail as hairdressers right now. We get them all psyched up about that visit and then we let them go. And we don't ask them to come back, right? They come in, they're like, I want this big change. I'm looking for this haircut, I can't wait. We should totally do it today, let's cut it all off. And then we cut it off, we highlight it, we color it, we send them out, we don't see them for six months because we made their day. We need to do what they were booked for, get them excited about the next thing you're gonna do with them pump them up for next time. Then that way they're going to book sooner and come in. It's not going to cram up your book and you can book them for new services next time. 200 points for any product purchase over $30, just pushing retail, and then one point for every dollar spent. That just makes them feel like they're getting something, but I'm not really giving anything for just spending a dollar. That doesn't, uh, doesn't keep things moving. This is a loyalty car that we ran in our salon. Now I'm going to tell you guys right now, uh, the one thing that upsets me the most, I've been through the last 10 years, uh, and I'll, I'll watch somebody do a business program, and I'm not saying everyone, there's amazing business people here this weekend. None of the people I'm talking about are here this weekend. But I, I have gone to their business program, and then I get to know them, and I find out they're not doing any of these things that they say. And it drives me crazy. There's one person in this room right now that I can tell you I know he's doing what he says, and that's Ben back there. Where's your team at? So you can tell who his team is in this room. And, that's, and, I, and I like that. But this is the thing, guys. Everything I'm doing or telling you about, I either did or I'm doing currently. Some things I did, and now they don't work for my business. I have a different model. But I still share them with you because they worked. This is a loyalty card. This was a Starbucks idea of, again, do you guys go to Starbucks? <laughs> you do, right? <laughs> At least, OK. So at Starbucks, if you go in the morning and you buy a coffee, they give you a receipt, a treat receipt, right? Uh, Robert Cromies does this as well. Uh, this was kind of my thought process of it was um, maybe I could give you 10% off for something that you want to get. So what we would do is write their name and a date in the future. Now, I wouldn't give you uh, a deal on four weeks from now when you want to get your color again. That's not what this is for. This is for maybe I want to get you in for a blow dry. So I'm going to write two weeks ahead of time on the card and your name, and then try to get you back in two weeks for a blow dry, something that you wouldn't have done, right? So don't give it to them for, for anything that they would have done already. Give it to, to them uh, to try something new.